Hello, this is Randy Lindsay with Hawkeye Traders. Um, this morning's update. Crude oil is in the news again. Uh, Saudi Arabia has agreed to a partial ceasefire with Yemen, and so uh, that results in a lot of activity in crude oil. You can see from the charts, it's caused the uh, black oil to drop about 1% in price. Um, looking at the charts, you can see that we were in a nice run up based on the three minute time frames uh, from the London Open. But if you look at the longer time frames, it gives you a completely different picture. You can see from the 60 minute that there was an overhead supply zone sitting right here that had been previously visited several times. The 12 minute chart again shows that very easily. Uh, looking at price coming back up to these levels, I think it's just simple market manipulation. The traders trying to get market to a price that they can attractively sell at. Hawkeye volume was identifying the run up at the uh, open of the, um, the London session, trading back up into the prior highs that we saw from this demand zone as soon as it hit that zone. Again, volume was showing that this level could not be supported as sellers were coming in and price was very responsive to selling. On the 12 minute, you can see one, two, three very obvious indications that this market was not going to stay at this level. When you see price starting to sell off in a supply zone, you know something's going on and you know that there's going to be downward pressure put on price. And when the news came out, it's all the market needed for it to go down into a demand zone, a, an area where buyers have been waiting to uh, buy back these uh, parts that they had sold here. So selling off, buying back is the name of the game. What to do from now? We are in a, a very nice uh, solid demand zone right now. Uh, the range is about 55.91. Let me see exactly what that is. To about 55.41. So that's the range. If we see a break back above 55.91. It's a simple retracement. This is a wide bar, the Hawkeye wide bar. We have specific rules on trading the wide bar. You do not enter a trade immediately following a wide bar. A price generally retraces back up into the body of this wide bar, stabilizes, and then we should see a break either to the downside or to the upside of this price action. To the downsides in reaction to the current trend and so that would be uh, a trade entry opportunity so we're looking at a break of 5541 to the downside if you get a break of that wide bar chances are good we might stabilize and stop before we break 5541 if we break 5541 then 5478 would be the next downside if not, we might be coming right back up to visit the uh, 5660 area yet again. For more information on how to get a, a copy of your own set of Hawkeye tools, click the link on this page, download a free copy of our volume ebook, or visit me in my live training room every Wednesday. Visit our website at hawkeyetraders.com. Thank you.